Hey there, my name is Lucky Luck Luke. You can catch me on Twitch on Lucky Luck Luke 2 slash or Twitch TV slash Lucky Luck Luke 2. So today I'm going to be continuing my tutorial, class tutorials for Sword of the Stars of the Pit, and today we're going to be doing the Mercenary. So I'm going to read his uh, flavor text. So Tor Makari is a clanless mercenary, born on the Tarka freehold of Kor Daya, summoned to Arbuda by the promise of huge of a huge reward. He is here to rescue a kidnapped human from a high-security alien facility and pull down the biggest bounty of his career. Changed male Tarkas are bad and almost never as dumb as they look. Watch out for this guy. So we're going to jump into the, the game here, uh, Mercenary. So we're playing uh, on the hard difficulty. So let's talk about his gear first. Um, so he starts, the coolest thing about him I think is he starts the Tarka Warhammer, which is a badass uh, melee weapon. It has uh, pretty low pen penetration, but has very high damage, and he has a high melee skill and a high might, and it has a knockback ability. So very fun weapon to use. Uh, starts with the heavy pistol, which is a pretty good pistol, does pretty good damage, pretty accurate, it's made, uh, yeah, and a, a pretty good uh, assault rifle which uses flesh at rounds. So a uh, really well-rounded uh, weaponry. Uh, he also has a tail swipe, uh, which you can add to your toolbar. So tail swipe, uh, we'll show what that is, but it's a really good melee weapon uh, if you don't want to use your the durability on your hammer. Ah, so let's look through more of his gear. Um, he has a fair amount of instant healing. He's got a Tarka War Kit, which is a 100% chance because he's a Tarka. Um, starts with pretty good armor. He also starts with 30 natural armor, so he can get his armor up to 80 when he wears this thing, which is pretty nice. Ballistic repair kit to keep his weaponry in good repair. Uh, digital interpreter, a hybrid tool, and a digital assistant. So he starts with pretty awesome tools and two lockpicks. So his tools are actually really good. But his stats, his skills are a bit low as far as uh, you know, lockpicking is it only a 10, mechanical 20, 25, which isn't too bad. Actually, no, that's compare comparing to other characters, it's quite bad. Um yeah, and let's look at his stats. He has 75 might, which is very high. Uh, 50 finesse, which is pretty good. 40 brains, which isn't, like I said, not as dumb as he looks. Um, and a 60 power, which is actually very high. But he's not really a psionic user, and we'll get into that later because, yeah, you can't really use many psionics on it. But it gives you very high resistance to fear. I guess that's it. Uh, right, so let's just uh, go through uh, the first few floors and uh, talk about the class as we go. So for the first few floors, I suggest you take off his armor to try to... You don't really need it in the early floors, so you want to try to keep your armor for later later floors. Same strategy for pretty much every class uh, that I suggest that you do, uh, if you're playing on higher difficulties especially. For some reason I can't find the way down. So he starts with a very high health pool, 105 health, and an extremely high food pool. But it goes down super fast. I think he has the highest food consumption rate. I've already spent 36 food and I haven't even walked around that much. He starts with access to um, Psy Shield, which makes you very uh, resilient to psionic attacks. So the only thing about Tail Swipe, you can hit multiple targets with it. So make sure you, you do that when you get the chance. I've had so unlike the female Tarka, uh, he doesn't have three move speed, which one thing to right mention. Yet. So the first few floors, I think I already mentioned this, but uh, uh, just use your tail swipe to kill everything. Be careful with tail swipe because you can hit your hit like things like rock piles and possibly destroy it. So be careful. So I'm just gonna show you the hammer. He looks pretty badass with the attack with the hammer. <laughs> Very powerful. You don't want to use your hammer too early. Uh, you want to use it to use its durability as best as you can. So because his food consumption is very high, always keep that in mind that food is your number one priority in this class. Uh, he's, otherwise he's very powerful, uh, probably one of the most powerful starting characters. Um, but his high food, high food consumption rate means you have to go go go. So on later floors, not this floor, but consider skipping rooms if you find the exit quicker than you expected. Uh, don't backtrack with this character unless for some reason you just have some item that gives you ridiculous amounts of food. Um, yeah. So one thing to mention about the um, one of the weaknesses I'll say of the Tarka is of the mercenary is that he starts with harder enemies than any other class. So I don't think 
any other class would have a floor one strangler on hard difficulty. I may be wrong about that, but in general, um, the mercenary gets very hard enemies compared to other classes. Like the engineer, you'll notice a huge difference if you play engineer on insane on floor one, and then you play like the mercenary on floor one. Already, you'll notice <coughs> a huge difference in types of enemies that you'll find. So I hear a uh, cerebro around the corner. It's always a good idea to put your armor on if, against these guys. Because their psionic attack hurts like crazy. So he has uh, kind of like the lowest, I think the lowest uh, XP gains. Um, so he'll level up very slowly. Um, upon level up he gets a shit ton of health though. So we're going to level up here just to show you guys. Um, oh, shit. My leveling strategy. Uh, so he gets 105, so now he's at 150. So what was that? 45 health per level? That's intense. I think he only gets one side point per level. I, I think he starts at 160. So he doesn't get much side points per level, but that's not really that relevant. So <laughs> he starts with two stat points. I would suggest putting that to finesse right away. Uh, try to get your finesse up to 60. Uh, there's a few weapons that need 60 finesse to use, so it's very important to get it up there. After getting finesse to 60, I'd suggest getting might to 80, just for that extra inventory space. And I personally do not like the brain skills, so I would never touch that. He doesn't need more power, so after that I would either keep going with might, but I would suggest finesse. Finesse is a skill that I like a lot. Um, okay, so he only has 3 skill points as well. Um, I would put a few points into resistance, um, namely because uh, I like Psy Armor. And not only that, it makes the duration of Psy Shield last a bit longer, which could be important. So I think it's worth getting it until you at least unlock Psy Armor. And Psy Armor works pretty cool uh, with his natural 30 armor that he has. So you can get a pretty high armor. Um, you can get pretty high armor even though if you don't have any, if you if you need it. Which will help your survivability. Uh, what would I do with the rest of the skill points? So there's a lot of debate here. I sometimes like uh, TK to try to unlock... Uh, Manipulation, it's a skill I like a lot, but uh, it's not necessary, and considering he only has three skill points per level, it may not be worth it. Um, so that's debatable, going for that. Um, what I would do is uh, level up uh, Biotech whenever you can, whenever it costs one point. I'd put a point in it, even if it's not a 45, because this is a high priority. Also, um, I would get Forging up. But again, don't get it too soon. Wait till it's at 45. Because you only have so little points that you don't want to kind of waste your points. Um, so after those two skill points are kind of like at levels that you like. Um, and once you stop using uh, resistance, you'll have a few points left over. I would suggest your few points left over go into mechanical skill once that's at 45. I wouldn't touch lockpick or electronics. Um, you don't really need them to be very high. Um, it's nice, of course, but uh, it's a luxury you cannot afford. And with your last few points, I would, depending on what weapon you find, uh, I'd get like probably rifle skill up a bit. Rifle is a very important weapon skill um, to get up. And uh, yeah, if you can, maybe if you decipher. But uh, I would prioritize mechanical and probably rifle uh, as your other skills. Uh, and of course, biotech. Biotech whenever you can. <clears throat> very important skill to get biotech because food is his biggest problem. So biotech. Forging, Mechanical, uh, Resistance. Those are the skills I would suggest to go for. But okay, what else can we talk about here? Good tools, good weapon skills. He has pretty good weapon skills. Oh, he can use heavy weapons without uh, needing special armor. So if you find a, happen to find a weapon that needs heavy armor to use, you do not need to find heavy armor. Or... Which is uh, one of the biggest downfalls of finding that amazing weapon that you probably cannot use. Um, what else can we talk about? Tail swipe is pretty nice. So he starts with a good chunk of grenades, especially the EMP grenades, very important. You start with five of them, so we'll, that'll carry you through some pretty tough battles. Uh, namely, like uh, large Mariki drones or heavy security bots. Those things are super scary, and this will make short work of them, especially if you get a lucky damage roll. You can one shot them sometimes. Uh, so he has the highest food consumption rate, I believe. He has low XP gains, which I mentioned. Uh, low biotech. Um, oh yeah, I think one thing I forgot to mention, probably the last thing, is sometimes if you... He's the only class that has this. Uh, but sometimes if you... Um, 
vicious little thing. Let me just try to find a raw pile and show you guys what I mean here. It'll be a lot easier to explain once I find one. Okay, there we go. So here's a raw pile. So usually on every class, if let's say I successfully get this, hopefully I do. Okay, so I got a forging skill up there for using it. Um, sometimes you do not get that skill up um, for this class only. So let's try again. Maybe this will be nice. Now we got the skill up. So sometimes I would successfully forge, but I still don't get a skill up. So uh, he has, I guess, a worse training ability than other classes. So one good strategy you want to do on pretty much every class is when you start a new floor, uh, put your armor on if you're managing your armor, because you don't know what's going to be around there. And the beginning of the floor is usually the hardest. And then if it looks safe, you can take it off. And we'll probably do that. Oh, well, I might trigger an alarm here. No, we didn't. And I think that's about all I got to say about the mercenary. Yeah, so any strategies I can mention about him? I think I mentioned his leveling strategy. Like I said, um, the, I think the most important thing is food on this character. So, you know, skip rooms if you have to, but always plan out your route. Uh, like, looking at this map here, if I want to explore this entire floor um, efficiently, I want to go here, 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 and then the the exit's probably here or here. So it's definitely the exit's definitely not here. So you want to explore those rooms first, so that you don't go down here and be like, "Oh man, I missed those rooms. What could be in there?" And then you backtrack all the way over there and spend 75 food doing so, you, uh, which is extremely bad for this character. So do not backtrack on this character unless there's something of extreme importance, uh, like I don't know something with a biome. <laughs> Biomes are a great source of food so uh, very important to you probably find the biome on this character and hopefully it's not a desert biome. And uh, did I talk about his tools? Yeah I found his tools. Um, if you do find energy cells uh, don't hesitate to recharge your hiver tool if to access something important like a weapon skill, a weapon tool or a, a weapon locker or maybe even a freezer. <clears throat> But yeah, that's the mercenary, and I think uh, that pretty much covers it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And I have many other tutorials on pretty much all the classes coming soon. So make sure to check out my YouTube channel, and uh, also catch me on Twitch, uh, Lucky Luck Luke Two, Twitch TV slash Lucky Luck Luke Two. You guys have a great day, and I hope you catch the next uh, tutorial. And uh, yeah, see you.